Harlem's Apollo Theater is celebrating its 90th anniversary with its first ever expansion into another historic theater on C 125th Street. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell now with an exclusive look inside the Victoria Theater. There's an extra buzz in the air of the historic Apollo Theater, and it's not coming from the old light fixtures. Well, if I could describe it, you know, imagine butterflies in your stomach all the time. That's what it feels like, the energy around the building. The Apollo's executive producer, Camila Forbes, escorted me a few doors down to show off the shining Victoria Theater, restored as part of the Apollo's expansion plan. Storytelling rap duo Soul Science Lab is bringing their first musical to the stage for the space's first performance. The Renaissance mixtape blends genres as the performers transport the audience through Harlem's history. It's incredible to be here at this point in the same space, you know, paying homage to them, but also bringing something new and pushing it into the future. We Renaissance or Renaissance Radio. Chen Lo and Asante Amin describe the experience in one word, quantum. It feels quantum because it feels very much new, but it feels ancient at the same time. It feels like this is new territory, but it also feels like we've been here before. A gallery exhibit in the lobby explores snapshots from each theater's iconic moments alongside daily life in Harlem across the decades. Within all the change that's happening right now in Harlem, it is firmly rooted to consistently keep our mission alive and at the forefront, and that is the preservation, but also the constant advancement and forward-looking of black culture. Two additional spaces at the Victoria allow the Apollo to invest in local artists and open opportunities for new events to connect to the community. This is Apollo's stake in saying, despite whatever is happening in the world, we're going to continue to boldly dream and imagine a future for ourselves. And as long as we keep planting those like artistic seeds, it can happen. Yeah, and a lot of young black artists who are doing innovative work often don't get opportunities on this level. Now the team will turn to the Apollo's main stage for extensive repairs there, including a reimagined lobby, complete with a cafe and welcoming windows. With a lot of New York theaters, you can't really see in. You know, you just see like a peek in through the doorway. But our idea for this expansion is really to expand our lobby in a transparent way and inviting the rest of the community in. Interactive kiosks will invite guests to feel inspired by the space and all its memories as they imagine the landmark's future impact. Yes, we have been around for 90 years, but we as a staff now and leadership are committed to looking forward to the next 90. In Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. You can see our half hour special Black History is American History Thursday at 530 right here on CBS 2.